Welcome to this video of EdgeCam, changing the way that you program your CNC machines. In this video, you'll see EdgeCam workflow for surfacing made easy. Let's begin by opening up EdgeCam. This is the launch screen you'll see to program milling, turning, or wire EDM. Notice EdgeCam, the clean interface, no icons all over the place, no clutter. By simply drag and dropping our model, into EdgeCam, you'll notice that our CPL or our datum place is placed on the corner. We're able to move this by simply clicking radio buttons for ease of use. In order to simulate the way it's really going to be on the machine for collision detection, we're going to go ahead and add material to the part. We're also going to place it in the vise, which will also be on the machine. In this case, we're going to say we're going to use one inch parallels for the operator. Once we put the part in the vise and position the vise so we can visually see it, the only thing we have left is to grab what machine are we actually going to run the part on. It automatically places the part and the vise on the table in the machine. To make programming simpler, we're going to allow EdgeCam to interrogate the part it's going to find the molded area of the part. It's doing that by finding that as a feature. We're going to allow EdgeCam to look at the part, look at the feature, and find the best machining process for this part. Notice it found the roughing and the finishing for the mold. Next thing EdgeCam is going to do by simply clicking one button, it's going to go out, find the appropriate tool, and machine the part. Because of my finish requirements, I want to use a smaller ball nose end mill. So by simply grabbing my tool, drag and dropping down lower before my finish, I'm able to go into my tool library, look for the ball end mill that I want, and simply replace the existing tool without going through a lot of different icons and dialog boxes. The next thing maybe I want to do is adjust my step overs or my cut increments or my cusp height by simply modifying what EdgeCam already has put on the tool. It's very easy to make a change and let EdgeCam readjust the toolpath. Once we feel the toolpath is what we want, we want to simulate on the computer. We want to do this so we can collision detect and see what kind of finish we're going to get prior to running G-code. Instead of watching the whole tool run, we'll fast forward and look at our finish. At this point, we're ready to output G-code and cut the part at the machine. I want to thank you for watching this short video of EdgeCam's workflow, making surfacing made easy. If you have any questions, please contact ATS at 877-287-2261. Or find us on the web at www.atscnc.com. Thank you.